to some of the country's hottest comedy arenas and this weekend Tony T Roberts takes to the stage at the Liberty Funny Bone and here's a taste of what you can't expect. Uh, Tony's not very excited about being here this morning. I just want to I just want to lay that out there for you. Anybody got that uncle that spelled the wrong words in front of the kids? We need to go into CAR and hit the weed. <laughs> <laughs> Does that, does that come from real life, Tony? Yeah, yeah, believe me, yeah. I got family members that find money in your house. <laughs> Look what I found. <laughs> Look what I found, right? Under their table. <laughs> yes, mine. Yeah, I mean, I just, how you doing, man? Good, good. good Sleepy? Good. Sleepy? Yeah, I just, I just landed like almost 2 in the morning. Had like a bunch of delays. I, yeah. I was in um, Salt Lake City and a hurricane hit the airport. Yeah. We had not actually it was like a half a mile from the airport, and so they took everybody off the plane. We had to go in the airport and get prepared, and it, it didn't come our way. A whole we watched it from the airport. A tornado go past. Go past. Wow, what were yeah. you thinking? Pardon me? What were you thinking at the time? Uh, it's a tornado <laughs> right there. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's spend the night, you know. So right. they, they they waited for like an hour or so, and. They got everybody on the plane, and we can get here to like 1.30, almost 2 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I, bet you, I bet you got some really weird travel stories. Oh, I got some, you, you, You've been all over yeah, the country. Yeah, yeah. You ever had Tylenol? P I usually take Tylenol PMs. Cause yeah, I, right. I don't like this. I'm impatient. I gotta okay, you gotta go to sleep right now. Yeah, so they don't give you no warning, nothing. You ever take these? <laughs> I was talking to a guy in the airplane. I took, yeah. just took two. Okay. 20 minutes later, I was talking. I'm like, yeah, so I'm from Detroit. But it's just gone. I was out of there. The, the pilot had to wake me up. <laughs> Sir, get up. You got to leave. <laughs> I'm telling you, though, I got some stories. That was crazy. I, you, talk about your hometown, Detroit. Oh, I, I'm diehard. Die Detroit, Lions, Pistons, Tigers. But I live in California, so I'm fighting the Raiders, the Giants, the A's, you know, the 49ers. But I stick, stick with my Lions. My, the Lions, it's, you know, yeah. it's hard to stick with them, but I'm, I'm there. Well, they're showing a little life this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. I believe in Matthew Stafford. You know, he throw a couple of interceptions here and there, but he's the toughest quarterback. I don't know. I'm going to stick with him. Yeah, my wife do not like the Bengals because she's a diehard Stiller fan. My wife is. Oh. She's a oh. Filipino girl, oh. and she's from California. I, she's, I, have to, I have to cuss her out in Spanish. Oh, then. you can't in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is going on with that? Man? I know something about what, you. What, you look like you should be on the penny. I don't know why they don't have you. <laughs> you look important. <laughs> you like a, <laughs> you like the mayor of Nicaragua. <laughs> 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 Why does she hate the Bengals? Because he's a, still a fan, man, and that's the competition now. The, the Bengals are the biggest threat. They're the best team right now. I mean, she, you can't be in a room when she watched the, the Steelers. Yeah. She wear the gloves, this stuff. She's there, you know. So I'm got a, I got a football wife. So yeah. uh, well, that's, that's good in some ways. Yeah, man. But in other ways, I mean, uh, you know, that can be kind of hard. Yeah, you? yeah, I know, man. But I'm a baseball guy, and then okay. I'm football. Oh, know? all right, so, you all know, right. Doing my thing. So what do you think about the Reds then? No, you gotta love them. I mean, I gotta yeah. respect them. Yeah, I absolutely. Respect, respect them, you know. You got your up and down seasons. Either you there or you're here. There's no middle with y'all. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you, yeah, know. you know, I, I tell us about your show tonight. Oh, unpredictable. I don't know what I'm gonna say. I like to uh, talk before I think, because I like surprises. <laughs> I have no idea what, I, what I'm about to say. And my fans know that about I'm gonna me. I'm going to tweet that out right now. I yeah. like to talk before Even I say. Comedians watch me because they never know what I'm going to say next. You yeah. never know. Right. And yeah. you got, uh, you're at the Liberty Funny Bone. And uh, tell how many shows? we got five shows. Five shows? Uh, is it two tonight, two tomorrow, one Sunday? Or they added a show Sunday? You never know. Yeah. I sell out. I'm a big deal. Okay. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Amen. Yeah. All right. Tell your wife I love her anyway. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate I appreciate it. that. Uh, okay. He's on the penny. <laughs> Holding some wheat. <laughs> yeah. That's the cream of wheat, box. <laughs> quit it. Just quit it. Just go to Liberty Funny Ball and leave me alone. <laughs> uh, tell me, G. Robbins, thank you for coming in, man. Yeah, just quit it. Quit it. <laughs> All right, let's move on to something else that's, that's kind of disrespectful here. Uh, uh, the man this, got his own money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using Bob Herzog's money. I'll be honest with you, you know, because I got no money. I, you know, I, I got two kids and a grandson. I got no money. Um,